Connectors for flexible circuits and cables, also known as flex connectors, have been in use for many years. FCI has been a global leader in the manufacture of flex connectors for more than 30 years. The purpose of this module is to provide a better understanding of the types of connectors that are available in the marketplace, as well as the latest technology that makes these connectors more versatile than ever. It will cover applications, market trends, connector development and types, and new innovations. One of the reasons flex circuits and connectors have become an important part of the connector world is their unique ability to fill the role of problem solver. Flex circuits can be used to bridge the gap between two boards that may not be positioned in a way that allows connection with a traditional two-piece coplanar or mezzanine interconnect solution. Flex cable can be used to transmit signal as well as small amounts of power from one board to another. Another popular use for flex circuitry is an interconnect for backlighting applications. Perhaps the most common use of a flex connection is to terminate an LCD or other display to a printer circuit board. As one can imagine, the applications for such a versatile interconnection system are quite varied from mobile handsets and other handheld devices to flat panel TV, medical, and industrial products. There are three types of flexible circuitry being used today. FFC or flat flexible cable usually consists of flattened conductors laminated between two dielectric films. FFC is the most robust of the three types of cable with the highest current carrying capability. FPC, or flexible printed circuitry, consists of chemically etched copper conductors on a base film of mylar or similar material. This cable is a bit lighter weight and usually requires a stiffener for termination to the connector. FPC is usually identified by its brown color. Lastly, CIC, or conductive ink circuit, is similar to FPC in construction, except the conductors are a thin layer of conductive paste, usually a carbon ink material. Logically, it follows that CIC has the lowest current carrying capacity. The most common cables in use today are FPC and FFC, and most connectors that accommodate one can accommodate the other. However, connectors for CIC generally require modified contacts, and as a result, Connectors for CIC have a different part number than their FFC, FPC equivalents. Care must be exercised to ensure the chosen connector will accept the cable being specified in the application. Now we will examine the various types of connectors used to terminate flexible circuitry. Flex circuit connectors are available in both through-hole and surface mount board terminations. Additionally, these connectors are available in both right angle and vertical or straight configurations. Flex circuit connectors are available in multiple contact spacing options ranging from 1.25 millimeters down to 0 0.20 millimeters. There are connectors for flexible circuitry with larger contact spacing 2.54 millimeters, but these are typically two-piece connector solutions. Contact spacing, also referred to as pitch, is the distance between contacts in the same row measured center to center. The contact spacing chosen usually reflects the application's demand for printed circuit board space. For example, the designer of a handheld device places a premium on getting the maximum number of components in the smallest package. This chart shows typical pitch sizes found in various applications. The chart does not represent a hard and fast set of rules, but rather illustrates which products are more common by application. As one would expect, applications where size is less of an issue, such as set-top boxes and test equipment, utilize lower density connectors. Use of lower density products also results in lower costs for both cable and connector, as well as board processing. When ordering a right angle flex connector, it's important to know that there are options for top and bottom contact locations. The reason both configurations are required is that flex circuits are usually manufactured with only one side of the cable prepared with exposed conductive material. In the illustration on the left, you can see the upper board has the exposed conductors on the bottom side of the flex, while the lower board has the conductors oriented upward. Having both options available simplifies your design 
and ensures that the mating contacts will be in the proper location to mate with the flex circuit. Flex connectors are available in two cable insertion configurations. The first is known as ZIF or Zero Insertion Force. This type of connector requires very little effort, almost zero, to insert the cable into the connector. This low force results in fewer instances of cable buckling or deforming, as well as provides a high number of mating cycles. Once the cable is inserted, an actuator is closed holding the cable in place. The two main types of actuators are the traditional sliding type, also known as the garage door style, and the flip type. The sliding type provides higher retention and strain relief, while the flip top offers greater ease of application, making cable insertion and actuation a one-handed process. There are two varieties of flip top actuators, front flip and backside flip. As the names imply, the actuator on the front flip style flips from the front of the connector, while the backside flip has the actuator rotating toward the back of the connector. Backside flip connectors are the more popular, especially for applications where the cable may be routed upward from the connector. This would pose the possibility of disengaging the actuator on a front flip connector, allowing the cable to be released. The second type of insertion is LIF, or low insertion force, also known as non-ZIF. This type of connector relies on the contacts to retain the flex cable after it is inserted. As a result, there is some effort to insert the cable into an LIF-style connector. This also means that an LIF connector will offer fewer mating cycles than a comparable ZIF product. However, because there is no actuator required, the application process is somewhat simplified. FCI makes 0.3 mm connectors with two types of contacts, ZIF and non-ZIF. If both types of contacts are in the connector, then it is a non-ZIF connector. If only ZIF type contacts are in the connector, then it is a ZIF connector. This chart shows a brief comparison of how the ZIF and LIF connectors, 1 mm spacing, compare with one another. With a more effective cable locking system, the ZIF is excellent for applications requiring a durable connector. Because no actuator is required for the LIF style product, it is a less costly product that can often be made in a smaller package than a similar ZIF connector. The forces driving flex connector development are similar to many other connector systems in the market. From a technology perspective, the quest for miniaturization seems to be never-ending. This is no surprise considering the number of handheld devices utilizing flex connectors. The drive for more functionality in a smaller package has affected not only contact spacing but overall height. Where a standard 1mm pitch connector was once the state of the art, the market is now demanding products with 0.2mm contact spacing and heights down to 0.7mm. LCDs continue to evolve, meeting the needs for higher resolution and support of video applications. As a result, the data rates required to feed these displays must be supported by the connector interface. This is the focus of a great deal of development by connector manufacturers. Arguably, the largest driver in flex connector development is that of improved quality. This refers to the overall quality of the end device being manufactured. In other words, the operator is sure the cable is inserted properly and the engineer knows that the connector will retain that cable over the life of the product. The demands of users of flex circuit connectors have resulted in some innovative features being seen in the market. Let's take a look at a few innovations pioneered by FCI to meet the challenges facing today's design engineers. As mentioned earlier, the largest driver in development for flex connectors has been the need to support increased quality of the end application. One of the best ways to do this is by ensuring that the operator has the cable properly inserted into the connector. The best method of providing this assurance is by making it impossible to close the actuator unless the cable is where it needs to be. FCI's VHC series provides this error-proof technology. This 0.5 mm pitch connector does not allow the operator to close the flip actuator with the cable improperly placed, ensuring that the end device will not fail due to flex cable issues. FCI's 0.2 mm pitch XL series 
has a different way of ensuring proper cable insertion. The system uses a different cable cut configuration, which allows the operator to visually check a proper cable location and insertion using a cable pre-hold before the actuator is closed. One of the issues with ZIF connectors is that zero insertion force typically means zero withdrawal force. As a solution to this problem, FCI has built in a feature called ZIF with Prehold into many of its connectors. This innovation provides a small amount of retention to the cable, holding it in place until the actuator provides the final locking. This prevents the cable from unintentionally slipping out and resulting in unnecessary rework. Another feature addressing quality and reliability concerns is reliable cable locking. FCI continues to bring advancements in cable locking to customers. As a result, FCI has one of the most robust offerings in the market, including many products that meet the requirements of some of the most rigorous drop tests from some of the most demanding handheld device manufacturers. FCI was the first to introduce the backside flip actuator to the market. As noted earlier in this module, this feature improves on the traditional garage door actuator by allowing the operator to insert and lock the cable in a smooth one-handed operation. For connectors with flip type actuation, it's important to ensure that the connector is easy to use and that the operator knows that the mated cable is inserted properly. Innovative FCI connector body designs allow the operator to visually confirm a good mate between cable and connector. As you can see in the illustrations, the connector allows the operator to see and not guess whether the cable has been inserted properly. As connectors continue to be developed with smaller pitches and lower profiles, issues regarding board processing become more prevalent. Lower profile connectors have a much higher risk of solder wicking beyond the tails and up into the mating interface. This creates short circuits and in some cases renders the connector mechanically unusable. In order to address this concern, FCI employs a proprietary process which places a barrier of nickel between the solder tails and the interior of the connector. This barrier prevents solder from wicking and depositing where it can create quality problems and the need for rework. As a leader in the flex connector market, FCI offers a full range of solutions from traditional larger pitch product down to 0.2 millimeter contact spacing for the ultimate in space savings. Additionally, we have very low profile products down to 0.7 millimeters in height. Our breadth of product means that we have a solution to meet the needs of virtually any application. This slide shows a summary of FCI's most popular flex connector offerings. As you can see, FCI has a very wide product offering with a variety of options in pin count, pitch, height, contact location, and many more. The most detailed and up-to-date product information may be found on the dedicated Flex Connector microsite located at fciconnect.com flex.